you guys i'm going to start doing these book hauls a lot more often um there are so many good books out there that are either affordable or they're free and it allows you to really go ahead and try out new authors go ahead and drop reviews for these authors so that they can get feedback that is how authors really thrive we thrive you know after a book has enough reviews um Amazon will start promoting it and this and that. If you find an author that you really like too, go ahead and follow them on Amazon so that you actually do get the emails whenever they drop a book. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am here with a book haul. It has been super long since I did a book haul. It's probably been well over, whew, at least... It's been about five, six months, so I am very much so overdue. Now, all of these books are books that I found for free on Amazon um, Kindle. So I figured, you know what? This is the perfect way for me to try out some new authors or books that I haven't read before. Now, I know one or two of these books I already have read, but I figured, you know, let me go ahead and just keep it from my, my own library. Because a lot of times I'll read a book and sometimes it'll be like a year later and I'll be like, I wonder if that author has dropped something since then. But again, I read so many books. I think I have already read 45 books this year. It is February 27th. That is insane. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks, a lot of short stories, um, novellas. I've been supporting authors that I've never either never heard of before. Or I've never read a book by, th excuse me, a book by them. I had a piece of hair in my mouth. That is a part of having locks that I wasn't expecting. Sometimes I still find little random stray hairs. I don't even know. Let's just go ahead and jump into this haul. Now, the first book, okay? The first book is titled Main Chick Versus the Side Bitch. And it is by Soleil Divine, okay? This book is 68 pages. It does say this is a part one of a part three series. The finer the man, the more everyone is going to want him. And Dwayne Coleman is no exception to the rule. With his main girl, Kiara Lawrence, by his side, Dwayne rules the town. Dwayne and Kiara had their shares of ups and downs from the women to extra kids, but they always stayed together until Arian came along. So Kiara is a lawyer with money and brains, but Arian has a body with hustle and street smarts. And with Dwayne mixed in, disaster isn't far behind. There is no way to stop the madness. And with Dwayne caught in a love triangle, the women have no choice but to fight for the love of their life. But at what cost? The book came out August 3rd, 2015. Y'all, I haven't read a book by this author before, so I don't know what to expect, but I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and support it. It has 700, you guys, 700 reviews. I don't even know if you guys can see. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. 700 reviews. That is insane. So the fact that I am late to the party, it is what it is. I'm still going to read the book. All right. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the wind outside. I don't know what's happening. I guess I'm about to get like blown away or something. Who knows? Now, the next book is titled Versus Nature, The Memoir of a Lonely Hot Wife. It is volume one. In the beginning was the Heat Special Edition series. This book is by Joan Barbara Simon. It is 199 pages. The book summary is after 3,000 women, he stopped counting. That part alone had me like 3,000 women. What were you doing with 3,000 women? Because I know you weren't being intimate with her. That is a lot of women. Like that is OD. So after 3,000 women, he stopped counting. He knew all about women and how to satisfy their needs. But then along came Carmina. Now there is a warning on here and it says this is not steamy romance, but erotic literary feminist fiction that will leave you shell-shocked and addicted. Came out November 1st, 2016. I was like, let me give this a shot because y'all know I kind of shy away from eroticas a little bit. I, I don't know. Something about all them spicy scenes just be having me feeling like, mm -hmm. like sometimes I be liking the, the character development and stuff, but some of the scenes just kind of go on for a while. So I don't know what to expect from this author because I've never read a book by them before, but we shall see what happens. Okay. 
The next book is Under the Robe. This is by Chris Maynor. I have never um, read a book by this author before. It is 51 pages. Y'all know that's right up my alley because I can't read these books that are super long. Now, the book overview, the large ornate courtroom buzzed with anticipation as Judge Sidney Elise Ronian took her seat at the bench. The high profile case before her had captivated the, the nation. I'm sorry, I got a text message that popped up. Had captivated the nation and all eyes were on her as she prepared to preside over the proceedings. The defendant, a charismatic and influential politician named Jonathan Mitchell, stood accused of orchestrating a massive embezzlement scheme that had drained public funds. Yeah, I said, I can, I can, I can read a book like this. Like, let's see what's going to happen. I like the cover. Um, I was like, let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, I did get this book for free, but I see the paperback is $384. You guys, that is amazing. To be able to support a new author for $384, that is not bad whatsoever. Um, I don't know if I said when it dropped, but this book did come out June 21st, 2023. It looks like it's falling underneath political thrillers and suspense, Black and African American women's fiction, 90-minute mystery thriller and suspense. Um from what I'm seeing, it looks like Chris Maynard is a black author. So come on, y'all. We need to support our black authors. It is Black History Month. I don't care that you guys are probably seeing this video in either June or July. It's Black History Month. So y'all going to support it over here. Now, the next book. If it wants to load, you know, sometimes the phone acts brand new on you and you don't know what to do, but it's whatever because we're still here. Now, the next book is titled She is a Love Song. This book is by Aunt Georgia Lee. OK, it is 34 pages. Y'all know how much I love me a nice little short story, a novella, anything that's not super long. Y'all know I'm here for it. OK, this book dropped November 29th, 2023. I saw it was ranked number one in one hour LGBTQ plus short reads. Also number seven in lesbian romance and number 10 in black and African-American women's fiction. I said, let's go ahead and do it, okay? The book overview. In this melodic masquerade, join contemporary gospel diva Cheryl Rose Campbell as she learns, tis so sweet to the love the Lord and the woman you can't let go, even though there will be a price to pay for the lesson. I'll read it. I'm definitely, I'm going to read it. I'm excited to see how this author spins it. Um. Now, this author is a black author as well. So it looks like Aunt Georgia Lee is a black lesbian author in Southern Georgia Peach with a flair for drama and romance, penning fantasies for your reading pleasure, seasoned with an edge of social conscience. Let's go, girl. See, I'm going to check this book out for sure. It is available with audiobook. It says zero dollars with the membership. I'm one of these days I'm going to get grown enough to pay for an audiobook, but y'all, I'm just not, I'm not there for Audible yet. I'm just not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. One day, someday. Next book is titled Status, and it is by Jordan Belcher. Now, this book is 279 pages. Y'all, y'all know I don't be reading books that are over 160 pages, so I am really going to challenge myself with this one, only because my attention span is so short. Like I just, and then too, I work from home reading all day, like the computer screen. So sometimes reading certain books that are longer length, I have to really be motivated. I got to be motivated. So like I said, this book is 279 pages. I'm not going to lie. Okay, the book dropped February 2nd, 2013. I saw the book cover. The book cover is what drew me in. I really went and downloaded the book without even reading the book description. Look at the cover, y'all. Whoever, you know, designed this cover, they did their they did their thing with this one. It is a part of a three-part series. I see the first book is titled Status. Um, looks like all the first three are titled Status. Part four is titled Selfie. So I think it's going to be a good book. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it ranked, well, right now it's ranking number six in black and African-American mystery 
thriller suspense. Um, Jordan Belcher is a black author. It looks like he was born in Kansas City, Missouri, nominated for the 2014 Male Author of the Year by AAMBC Book Club. We're going to give this book a shot and we're going to see what happens because I'm trying new things this year. The next book, I'll Be Home for Christmas. It is an e-short story by Zane. You guys, I already dropped a whole book review of this book. I absolutely loved it. But I saw yesterday that it is available. Well, it was available for free. So I said, let me go ahead and add it to my library. It is 20 chapters. 20 chapters. It is 20 pages, you guys. This book dropped November 20th of 2012. It is number 17 currently in the 30-minute literature and fiction short reads. Zane, everybody knows Zane by now, okay? Zane has been out here writing and taking over the book game since I was, before I could even read, okay? So, Just go ahead and run and go get this book because I think it was no more than 99 cents, but I threw it right in on my haul. Now, the next book that I have on my haul is Sins of Thy Mother. It is by none other than Nikki Gilvante. I have read books by her. I have become such a fan of this author simply for the fact, too, She's from Memphis, Tennessee. So I was like, let me go ahead and support my fellow Memphian. I'm not originally from here, but I feel like... I'm from here now, so Memphis is just going to have to keep accepting me the way they have. Um, This book here is 120 pages, okay? I did enjoy the book description when I had saw it. Um, I like the book cover, too. Most of these books, I'm not going to lie, I decided to go ahead and read them and download them, not only to support the author, not only because it was free, But also, a lot of these book covers just drew me in. I'm not even going to cap like it didn't. Sometimes you can really get drawn in by a book just off of its cover. Like, and that is exactly what happened here. So I am looking forward to seeing what that book is about as well. The next book is To The One I Love. My phone is acting crazy and is trying to give me a hard time. What did it just do? It is called To The One I Love, and it is by Dawn Gina. This book is 30 pages. Y'all know that's my sweet spot. It came out March 8th of 2013. I saw it came number five in Letters and Correspondence, number 29 in Poetry About Love, and number 29 in Love and Erotic Poetry. It says Dawn grew up in the Southwest, but later returned to the East Coast where she was born. Listen... I'm going to give this book a shot. And I think what drew me in was once again, the book cover. So I didn't even sit here and read the book description. I know I started off by reading some book descriptions, but I am like tongue tied tonight. It is 917 at night. I am tongue tied. So you guys are just going to go on the ride of seeing the book covers that I have been looking at. Okay. The next book is Seducing Her Fake Husband. It is an African-American erotic short story by Kinky Caribbean. This book is 46 pages. Um, It came out October 29th, 2015. What really got me into wanting to read this book was the title. I said, okay, let me sit here and find out. The title and the author's name were enough for me to sit here and show interest and be like, I'm going to give this a shot. So that's exactly how that went, okay? Okay. I'm going to let y'all know how it goes. The next book is a book that we pretty much all have heard of, okay? But I found it for free. So I said, let me go ahead and give it a shot. It is by George S. Classen. It is The Richest Man of Babylon. This book is 86 pages. And as, as the first line says, it's beloved by millions. This timeless classic holds the key to all you desire and everything you wish to accomplish. Um... It's number six in classic short stories. Now, I'm not sure if this is the actual, well, it probably is not the actual George S. Classen, considering that it looks like he was born November 7th of 1874, and he died April 7th of 1957, long before I was born. Um, So, yeah, I figured I would go ahead and give this book a shot because I've heard so many different people talk about it. You know, I just figured I would go ahead and give it a try. Um. What is the worst thing that can happen? The next book is The Irish Doll Maker. 
And it says it is a part of the Raven Hills Farms Mystery. It's by Jane E. Drew. The book is 88 pages. It came out July 2nd of 2023. Um, I had never read a book by this author before. I really don't know what drew me in. I think it was more so the cover. It was the font. I really do like the font. I like the cover of the book. So that made me want to read it. Um, and then also feeling like I'm going to try out a new author. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a shot. Next book is Animal Farm. Once again, this is another book that we all have already heard about. It is by George Orwell. I found it for free. It looks like it's 97 pages. Um, let me see. George Orwell was a vent. He was born in 1903 in India. So I think the reason why I wanted to write try this book was because too i've never read this book and i feel like most of us were supposed to either read it in middle school or maybe even i don't i don't know when we were supposed to read it but obviously i didn't um so you know i'm gonna give it a shot now i think i had like a report i was supposed to write on it when i was in middle school i don't know what i actually did do but clearly it wasn't write the port report and actually remember it because i have no clue what this book is about but i have heard people talking about it still so if the book is lasting, you know, almost 200 some odd years, however many years it's been, I figured I would give it a shot, you know? The next book is titled I Am the Streets by T.L. Joy. This book is 77 pages. Y'all know that is my sweet spot, okay? I don't like super long books. This book dropped June 29th, 2015. Y'all know what draw me, drew me into this book. It is this book cover. Do y'all see her biting this bullet? I say yes, girl yes i like this like i i like the cover but tl joy it appears is a woman okay so it is a woman so let me see she's also the author of the hot boy series i am the streets love and deception the streets is calling and more to come you can follow her on twitter at author tl joy so let's see about the next one the next one is called big dick energy and it is part of the toxic as f volume one and it is by the author dick thick 17 pages now let's not cap okay let's let's not pretend i was drawn in by the book cover i was drawn in by the book title i was drawn in by the author's name that's all I'm going to say on that, okay? Because I'm going to read this book and I'm going to see what happens with it. I am super excited. I just was like, let me go ahead and try something new. The next book is a book I done seen go viral, okay? This author, Quan Mills, has a way of dropping these books with covers and titles that if it does nothing else, it's going to capture your attention. This book is titled The Old Thought Next Door. It is all of 316 pages. Now, I've, I don't know if I've ever actually completed a book by Quan Mills. We're going to dream long, big, and really hard that I actually read a book that long. Because y'all know I don't read long books. So we're going to see. Worst case scenario, it gets DNF'd. But what can we do? We're still going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to see what happens. The next book is titled Infested. It is by D.W. Nathan. It's a short story, 10 pages, perfect for me. It says a sick man frustrated with the homeless problem in New York City decides to vent his issues on a cold winter afternoon in the city. It came out October 26th of 2018. It was nice and short. That's why I chose it. I also was curious as to what is going to be said? I don't like New York City. I am from upstate New York. I am from Syracuse. New York City gives me the creepy crawlies. It's too packed. It's too congested. There's so many people. There's so many rats. There's so many roaches. There's too much. It's just too much. I ain't been there since 2011, and I don't see myself going back. We are in 2024. No, thank you. But I will read a short story about it. I can do that, okay? The next one is Healing Against the Heart. This is by M. Monique. And A.J. Davidson, this book is 170 pages. What drew me in definitely was the cover. Um, and it looks like a bloody gun, so it's called Healing Against His Heart. This book dropped March 23rd of 2021. This book has crazy reviews. It has 869 reviews and 651 ratings on Goodreads. So that's another reason why I was like, let me go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see what happens. The next one 
It's called Shot Through the Heart. And it is the Bow and Arrow by Remy Ruger. This book has 73 reviews. It's 115 pages, a good sweet spot for me. It came August 7th, 2023. I figured I would go ahead and give this book a shot as well, just because of the cover. Um, that's what really drew me in. Like I said, this is a book haul. I can't give full reviews on these books because I haven't even started reading any of them yet. I just went on a book downloading um, spree. Invite Only is by Neek Mills. I believe I'm saying that correct. If I'm not, please forgive me. This book is now $4.99 on Kindle. $0 if you have Kindle Unlimited. The paperback is $15. It is 91 pages. It dropped January 24th, 2023. So we are officially at the year year mark um looks like we have some characters named yomi and dominic uh dominic is the owner of danger zone which is an adult sex store so i see it is in the top um definitely top rating categories in the erotic department urban erotica to be specific so we're gonna see what happens with that i am excited the next one is valentine's day with a jersey baller it is by tiana i believe i read a book by this author potentially maybe maybe earlier this maybe last month i might be wrong I might be wrong. I've been wrong before and that's okay. But I think I read a, a book by this author. This dropped February 15th of 2022. Um, I believe I already said it is 88 pages. What got me about this book cover, I like that like... I like black and white book covers to begin with. But I love when it has just a splash of color, color to make it pop. I really did like that. So... I liked it and I'm really excited about it. The next book is Appointment Only, okay? And this book is by none other than Takara. It is 41 pages. It has 291 reviews. It is also in Urban Erotica. It came out September 20th of 2023. I got to support this book because it dropped on my late brother's birthday. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. You guys, I'm going to start doing these book hauls a lot more often. Um, there are so many good books out there that are either affordable or they're free. And it allows you to really go ahead and try out new authors. Go ahead and drop reviews for these authors so that they can get feedback. That is how authors really thrive. We thrive, you know, after a book has enough reviews, um, Amazon will start promoting it and this and that. If you find an author that you really like too, go ahead and follow them on Amazon so that you actually do get the emails whenever they drop a book. Um, I've noticed that's where a lot of my book traction comes from too with my books is if I have people that are subscribing, you know, a lot of times they'll go ahead and they'll see that and then they, you know, they get those emails. So by the time you guys see this video, um, hmm, trying to think what books have come out uh obsessed with the trauma nurse has been out for about a month and a half by the time you guys see this that is available for 99 cents as well um unrelenting is coming soon remorseful has already dropped so by the time you guys see that this video you will be able to go ahead and get that book as well all of my books are available for 99 cents i um I like giving people the opportunity to go ahead and try out new books by me, you know, especially if it's a new author, new author, a new reader who maybe hasn't read a book by me before. I don't want to bash out upside the head with different, you know, with different little pricings and stuff. Now, eventually it might happen. Okay. Coming August 26, we have, I wish I never kept the baby. Um, Coming April 24th, by the time you guys see this video, it'll already be here. The Pastor and Temptation spinoff. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was so pleased with how The Pastor and Temptation was supported. I That was hands down one of my favorite book series that I've ever put out. I love, love, love the support that I've gotten. I even have it on my t-shirt. I just went and grabbed a whole boob. Y'all be all right. I even have it on my t-shirts you know the pastor and temptation willow and eve those two there i don't know i feel like one day when i settle down i feel like 
I'm not as raunchy as Eve. Eve was getting it on outside of Happy Mexicans parking lot. I'm not bad like Eve, but I want a willow. I want me a willow. We'll see what happens. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm dropping book reviews back to back. I'm dropping them every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. now. I'm also dropping shorts now too, shorts and reels, because I've noticed that is where traction is coming from, it seems like. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. Um, go ahead and turn on your notifications for when I'm dropping these book reviews. I read urban fiction, psychological thrillers, short stories. Um, I am trying to get back into reading poetry. Yeah, it just has not been happening for me. Like, I'm just not. You know what it is? I don't like being in my feelings anymore. Is that what this is about? Like, I don't even perform my poetry anymore either. So it's not even like I'm just being like a a brat. I don't even perform my own poetry. Last time I performed was January of 2020. And then COVID shut everything down. And now, you know, my books of poetry are just out there on Amazon. Sapiosexual is still out there. Um, the Elephant in My Bedroom was the first book I dropped. We are coming up. By the time you guys see this, it has been my seven year author anniversary. Um, Fetish has been out for six years, maybe. Um, Did You Want a Taste has been out since 2019, approximately 2018, 19. Um, I don't know. I'm not a poetry gal anymore. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So for now, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next book review. Bye.